Hey guys, this is a fun one. It says solve for X, no calculator. X cubed is equal to 303 cubed plus 404 cubed plus 505 cubed. On the left-hand side, we can just copy down the X cubed. I'm noticing all of these are divisible by 101. So I'm gonna rewrite this as three times 101 cubed plus four times 101 cubed plus five times 101 cubed. Let's bring down X cubed again. Since this is multiplication inside of the parentheses, this cubed can be distributed to both. So we have three cubed times 101 cubed plus four cubed times 101 cubed plus 5 cubed times 101 cubed. 3 cubed is equal to 27, 4 cubed is equal to 64, and 5 cubed is equal to 125. And let's bring down everything else. On the left hand side, all three of these terms have 101 cubed in it, so I'm going to factor that out. This is going to look like this. So then I have to ask myself, 101 cubed times what gives me 27 101 cubed? So that'd be 27. And then 101 cubed times what gives me 64 101 cubed? Well, that's going to be plus 64. And then 101 cubed times what gives me 125, 101 cubes, that's going to be 125. So if I distributed this, it would bring me to the step before. So now let's clean up inside of the parentheses. 27 plus 64 plus 125 is equal to 216. And let's bring down everything else. The 216 is 6 times 6 times 6. So I'm going to rewrite that as 6 cubed. And then we can bring down everything else. And now just like up here where I distributed the cube to both of the terms being multiplied, I can do the opposite here. I'm going to pull that cubed out. It's going to look something like this. So now we can do inside of the parentheses, then what is 101 times 6? It's 606. So we can rewrite this as x cubed equals 606 cubed. So if I cube root both sides of the equation, the left-hand side is going to be x, and the right-hand side is going to be 606. And we have now solved for x, so we can put a box around it. x equals 606. How exciting.